Hello friends, welcome to my channel Truth and Belief. Today's my topic, what is the meaning of life? Have we ever thought that the means of our life? People everywhere are asking the questions, what is the purpose of life and why are we here? If the purpose of life is to be uh, is to be is to uh, become wealthy, there would be no purpose after becoming wealthy. The fact is that when people approach their purpose here in this life from the aspects of only gaining wealth after collecting the money that they have dreamed of their lives lose purpose and then they live in restless tension suffering from a feeling of worthlessness how could wealth then be considered as the aim of life when we hear of uh, uh, when we hear of millionaires or member of their families committing suicide how could we consider the purpose of life would be to gain wealth many people often say in sad way or more aggressively that life is just has no meaning but life has clear meaning given to us by God. If you believe that everything happens for a purpose, then God too had a purpose in creating this universe. To worship God and to follow the path described by Him. The term worship to whom and includes any and all acts of obedience to God. So his purpose of life is a standing purpose, worshipping God by accepting God's will over his own. His life here on earth, although short, is full of purpose and is totally meaningful within the complete frame of total submission. Similarly, in the next life, as well, his family, intentions, intentions, atti uh, uh, attitudes, and good deeds will all be weighted into his account as favorable, putting him in high esteem with his creator and sustainer as, as per islam islam teaches that this life is only a test or trial for the individual to show him his true nature it is only natural that he would accept death so not so much an ending to everything but more as a blessing a beginning of the final and lasting life in the hereafter every person will be rewarded or punished according to their attitude efforts and appreciation during this stay on earth as per islam the first life is a test the life in the grave is a resting or waiting place before the day of judgment the day of judgment brings about the clear understanding of what will now happen to the individual based on his desire and actions the permanent or 
after life will either be spent in luxurious splendor or miserable punishment. Muslims understanding of life or purpose is very clear. First of all, he has no doubt in his mind that he is only created by Allah. He knows he will die. He knows he will spend time in the grave, either pleasant or uh, difficult, depending on his deeds or attitudes. He knows he will revive for the day of judgment. He knows he will judge according to the most fair of a standard by Allah. The Muslim's permanent purpose is to surrender, submit, obey in purity and peace to Allah, carrying out his order and staying in some form of worship to him as much as possible every day. As per Hinduism, the purpose of life encourages four universal goals, dharma, artha, karma and moksha. Dharma represents the complex nature of Hinduism. Hindus believe that they are born in debt to the gods and various humans and they must repay those karmic uh, debts during their lifetime. Debt to parents and teachers paid by supporting them, debt to guests repaid by treating them as if they were gods visiting on uh, one's home, debts to other human beings repaid by treating them with respect, debt to all other living beings repaid by offering goodwill, food, or any other help that is appropriate. Okay, friends, thank you very much for watching my video. I will continue uh, my uh, discussion on this topic in my next video. So, please uh, allow me till then. Thank you.